is the season yes and i've already done uh krampus and gremlins two christmasy horror stories a horror movie site and i thought well why not do die hard Lots of people don't consider this a Christmas movie because, you know, even Bruce Willis himself came out and said it was the Christmas movie. That's fine. I mean, if it's not a Christmas movie to you and your family, that, that's okay. But I, I consider it a Christmas movie. I watch it around this time of year. And I've seen it plenty of times before. This is a rewatch. And this is what my channel is for, for me to re rediscover movies I haven't seen in a while. Because I grew up with movies, you know. I'm not one of those people that... That lived in a cave and and never saw any movies <laughs> you know okay fair enough there are plenty of people like that in the world i'm just not one of them i'm very much a movie person and uh i love die hard i think it's one of the best movies action movies christmas movies you name it now i know many people say it's not a christmas movie it is to me right it's got everything a christmas movie needs plus added extras <laughs> To make it also an action movie. Yeah. I know it came out. I know it was released in the summertime. So it was a summer blockbuster. You know what I mean? I, what? 1988. I was 8 years old. then, so. You know. I knew what Die Hard was. A bit young to watch it. But you know. It, it did come out in the summertime. You know. So. But it doesn't matter. It's whatever it is to you personally. Yeah. So, let me know what this movie is to you. Is it just an action movie? Is it a Christmas movie? You know? Is it something you and your family love to sit down and watch Christmas time? You know? Or summertime? Or whatever? Or is it just one of those people who just watches it whenever you want? You know? I'm like that. You know? I, I don't really have to watch movies. Christmas themed movies. At Christmas time. It just feels better when you do it that way. You know? So, yeah. Uh, sorry I'm rambling on here. But <laughs> as always... So, uh, let's jump in. Oh, slide. <laughs> I'll put that in a bit. And yes, I did get the Blu-ray version. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't seen it in, in uh, Blu-ray yet, you know? And make fists with your toes. Fists with your toes? I know, I know, it sounds crazy. Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. Yes, sir, better than a shower and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he sees the gun. It's okay. I am sort of sitting back right now because I've got sore legs, so I can't really sit, you know, put my feet down at the moment. There's the title. Yeah. Nice simple title, you know what I mean? To the point. I like that. Rouge. I think so, that, Mr. De Niro. Do you think the baby can handle a little sip? That baby's ready to tend bar. <laughs> yeah. McLean Williams, Lucy McLean speaking. Hello, <laughs> Lucy McLean. This is your mother speaking. I'm excited for this movie. I haven't seen it in a few years, so it's good, you know, to get back to it, especially around this time of year. For me personally and no snooping around the house looking for presents that's a lovely Is scene like the, like the house? sunset blurred out slightly that's nice probably just a picture you know backdrop hola mrs holly um did mr mclean call no mrs holly he's on his way don't worry he is on his way yikes How dare you not call? At least he's bringing a bear. That's something. Oh. Oh, hello. California. <laughs> yes, me. that's just one more reason to like California. Great views, yeah? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. All right. Hey, I'm John McClane. Argyle. I'm your limo driver. Okay. Argyle, what do we do now? I was uh, hoping you could tell me. It's my first time driving a limo. Oh. Okay. It's my first time riding in one. <laughs> Doesn't like the idea of being pampered on, you know? He wants to just be normal, sort of thing. Okay. 
Oh, sorry about that. It's a girl's day off. <laughs> <laughs> Just drive the car, man. Hey, come on, you divorced? You separated? <laughs> she beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because I'm a New York cop. I got a six month backlog of New York scumbags I'm still trying to put behind bars. I can't just pick up and go that easy. So in other words, you thought she wasn't gonna make it out here and she'd come crawling up back to you. <laughs> hey, that'll work. Uh, no Christmas music? You got any Christmas music? Yeah. It is Christmas music. Yes, it is. She sees you, you run into each other's arms, the music comes up, and you live happily ever after, right? <laughs> I can live with that. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yikes. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pull in the parking garage and I'll wait. Well, you score, you give me a call on the car phone. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. Yes, big tip. Big, big tip. <laughs> that's gotta suck though. Everybody else is having the party and you have to stay down in the lobby. Cute toy. Makes me wonder if the uh, security people already have their Christmas party. <laughs> Let's hope so, because they're not going to be here for much longer. Let's hope they had a good Christmas party. Ah. Uh, the party. The the only ones left in the Take the express elevator. Why didn't you just tell me that then? If you know what floor they're on, what? Is it like part of the security thing where they have to make sure that you actually do know somebody in the building? You don't want to pay attention, buddy. Yeah? Park up, park out. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> this has got, hey, he's got snacks, he's got drinks, yeah? He's got a bear to keep him company. Oh, he's got phone, CB, yeah? Where's the Christmas music? It's supposed to be a Christmas party. At least I kind of had some Christmas music, you know? It wouldn't be good Christmas classical music right there, yeah? Where's that? Yeah, drinks suck. <laughs> Too fruity. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey! Merry Christmas! Oh. Hell? Jesus. I don't know you, buddy. I'm California. Huh. Lip fungus or anything. Well, that's... Oh, now having his own little party, yeah? Hmm. Party party. Just party in his nose. <laughs> oh, there it is. John. He made it. Just a bite. Have you met everyone? Yes. She was made for the business. Tough as new. I was hoping you made that flight. He already knows she's tough as nails. That's why he married her. I have to forgive Ellis. He gets very depressed this time of year. He thought he was God's greatest gift, you know? He's got his eye on you. It's okay, I have my eye on his private bathroom. It's a nice bathroom. I should be in the car half the time. Why don't we make it easy? I have a spare bedroom. I mean, it's not huge or anything. Kids would love to have you at the house. Yeah, better than nothing. I would too. Oh, no, 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 get in the room. Yeah, there you go. I guess you didn't miss my name, though, huh? Except maybe when you're signing checks. Is this when did you start using Ms. Gennaro? Yeah, you are a married that. woman, Holly. You're married to no, me. We're gonna have this Remember, conversation again. We did this in July. We I never finished a, this conversation in July. Oof. Come on. It's just, just use the professional name, yeah? Speech time. Be back in a few minutes. Her maiden name's like a professional name, yeah? Like a stage name or something, you know, it's just something you use. Like she says, Japanese company, would expect married women to work. Very mature. So, makes sense. Woohoo! Here we go. Fun's about to start. Mm hmm. Bounce, right? <laughs> worthy on the break, over to AC, to Magic, then back to Worthy, right? Oh! Yikes. I didn't even see it coming. Don't talk, it was too late, I don't know. 
You missed, buddy. You missed. Yeah, really, really great actor. Fantastic in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Stole that movie. <laughs> Best villain ever. <laughs> He's just really good at villains for some reason. That's a great shot. And then just in the lift. Nobody's looking, nobody's coming. And you're set. There you go. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it actually works. Does that actually work though? I've never tried it. I don't have carpet, I've got wood floors, so. Yeah, the wood, it doesn't work so well on the wood floors, you know? Does it work on carpet? I don't know. Yeah, Argyle. Argyle's just enjoying himself. It's too late anyway, Argyle, and you're stuck. Hey, brother. Oh, man. Nein, 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 Marvel, don't leave the house. Oh, oh. If he cuts the line too early, it, he sends out an alarm or something, does it? Does it? Just put the whole thing in jeopardy. Just to mess with his brother. Some people are like that, man. Just love to mess with people, especially the siblings. That's a great shot, too. It's coming out of that lift with guns this time, though, and nobody notices. Grab your shoes! Grab your shoes! Quickly! Oh crap. But it would be Marco that would get the woman with the naked titties. Of course. You know? <laughs> Marco being Marco. Stay calm. This will be funny. <laughs> He's freaking out. I as a kite, I'm freaking out. Doesn't work. Nope. See of greed around the globe. They are about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. You will be witnesses. Okay. Nope. Joseph Yoshinobu Takagi. And they're gonna find him. You know that. 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California, 1939. Interned at Manzanar, 1942. Scholarship student, University of California, 1955. Definitely not him. MBA, Harvard, 1970. President Nakatomi Trading. Vice Chairman Nakatomi Investment Group. Enough. And father of five. Just in time for the end. It just end. <laughs> Nice suit. John Phillips, London. I have two myself. Hmm? Rumor has it, Arafat buys his there. <laughs> nice. Well, not anymore, he doesn't. Position and men's fashions all day, but I'm afraid work <laughs> must intrude, and my associate Theo has some questions for you. Mm-hmm. I don't have that code. You broke in here to access our Computer? Any information you could get when they wake up in Tokyo in the morning, they'll change it. You won't be able to blackmail our executive, threaten our profit. Sit down. Because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Oh, boy. What kind of terrorists are you? <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? Nobody. <laughs> Thieves. It's common thieves. The bonds represent hey. Everyone's in position. We're ready to go. 
Get on the jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just gonna have to kill me. Okay. Woo. Yeah, that's never easy to watch. That's one of the hardest scenes to watch in a movie for some reason. It's rock oh, it's rough. <laughs> one of those extra special bullets to just splatters brains everywhere. And you wouldn't think that maybe it's locked from the inside? Come on. Now, you can break the code. You didn't bring me along for my charming personality. Because <laughs> you don't have one. Argo, tell me you heard the shots. You're calling the police right now. How did he hear the shots? He's in the, he's in the garage. Under the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, set up the bombs. Get the bombs in place. I mean bombs. Oof. A hidden vault. You do understand the circuits cannot be cut locally. Trust me. Oh, but they can. God damn it, think. It's not gonna work, John. Nope. Unfortunately not. We've got a fire alarm. Call 911. Give them the guard's name, the building code number, and cancel the alarm. Then disable the system. Very almost loaded the alarm door. Mm-hmm. Oh. Got a, a suitcase phone. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, you stupid motherfuckers! No, no! Turn the fucking truck around! We have to look up what that meant. I'll kiss your Dalmatian. Because I have no idea. What, all the years been watching this movie, I've never found out what that meant. Is it like a police thing or something? I, I don't know. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> your ninja tactics will no longer work. There is light. The fire has been caught off, my friend. I'm not your friend. You might as well come out and join the others. You're still building this damn building, right? I thought they're going construction anyway. Of some type. Maybe they're just refitting it? There are rules for policemen. Yeah. That's what my captain keeps telling me. <laughs> Nice. Oh. Oh no, not the gun. He lost the gun. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, it's like drywall, but it's still gonna hurt though. Oh, there goes the neck. The vest is already starting to get dirty. One of the tragedies of this movie, that white vest. Will never be the same. Hey! Nice. Ooh, very nice. I lay in terrorists in the world and I gotta kill one with feet small and my sister. They're not terrorists! They're thieves! Because he doesn't know that. Ah, uh, John, stop messing with people. Stop messing. <laughs> I wanted this to be professional, efficient, adult, cooperative. Not a lot to ask. Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. Yeah, they weren't expecting that. They weren't expecting to be dead. And please remember, we have left nothing to chance. Just as he says that, this happens. Yep, there it is. Tell him to come down. Carl, come so far. Oh, that was 
Why are they speaking in English to each other? You know? Obviously it's for the movie, right? So we can understand them. You know, like if this was real, they'd be speaking in whatever language they're speaking in, yeah? I assume German. But, uh... Right? Because it wouldn't make sense for them to speak to each other in English. Unless they're multilingual. Maybe there's some people from other places. You know? And English is like closest thing to universal language, sort of, you know? Yikes. Oh, that was close. <laughs> A welcome site, of course. When you're facing terrorists slash robbers. Building a path looking for this man, but until then, we do not alter the plan. And if he alters it. Yeah. What do you think? Something's wrong. John. John. Oh, Christ, he can fuck this whole thing up. What does he think he's doing? His job. Bullshit. Yeah. His job's 3,000 miles away. Well, Doesn't matter, he's still a cop, you know? Well, get out of here. Tell that to Takagi. Exactly. You've seen their faces, buddy. You've seen their faces, they're not gonna let you go, yeah? As far as they're concerned, you're already dead. Mayday, Mayday, anyone copying Channel 9? Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building and are holding at least 30 people hostage. I repeat, unknown number of terrorists, six or more armed with automatic weapons at Nakatomi Plaza. Century City. That's the best place to transmit. Somebody answer me, goddammit! The roof! Go! Go! He's going. <laughs> Attention, whoever you are, this channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> Best line in the whole movie. <laughs> I love it. Because it's true. I mean, come on. Even if it's a prank, you still gotta check it out, yeah? They have already killed one hostage. They are fortifying their positions while you're jerking me off on the radio. That's right. Report me, come the fuck down here and arrest me. Just send the police. Yeah. Oh. Yes, that's called gunfire. Maybe you don't know that because you work in an office. I don't know. See if there's a black and white that can do a drive by. Finally. <laughs> Doing your job, huh? Okay. I thought you guys just ate donuts. <laughs> <laughs> They're for my wife. But yeah, she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> this is 8 Lincoln 30. Come on in, over. Investigate a code 2 at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. 8 Lincoln 30 to dispatch. I'm on my way. He almost made it. <laughs> Tell you what, his wife's gonna be pissed. She's not getting her Twinkies. Just sneaking up on him. Like a sneaky, sneaky person. Oh, so close. Just a pity he can't shoot straight. <laughs> Shooting the lock on the door? Yeah, that's smart. Just wasted a lot of bullets though. Yeah, you go through first. <laughs> Oof. Oof. So close. Oh, that's a long way down. That is a really long way down. Oh yeah, that's part, yeah. <laughs> you have to do it, John. Come on. I wouldn't be able to do it, but you know. I'm a shooting gear. What he should have done was tied it around the gun rather than relying on the on the clasp, yeah? He should have just tied it around the gun. At least it wouldn't have become undone, maybe. Yeah, he probably doesn't want them to hear the gunfire, you know? Possibly. I know about this part because apparently the stuntman, he was actually supposed to grab onto the first one, but he slipped and fell down to the, the lower one. But it made for a better, better shot, you know? Better look. It would have given you less...
Yep, he missed it, and then... <laughs> That's out later. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. <laughs> I know what a TV dinner feels like. <laughs> Apparently that guy was actually a ballet dancer or something. This was the first movie role, I think. Wait, well, he looks intimidating as hell, though. <laughs> ballet dancer. Ah, oh, was close again. Like Carl's always close. He just misses him all the time, you know. Poor Carl. He never gets what he wants. Oh, look at the color of the vest now. Compared to what it was before. Wait, he's wearing a brown vest? I could have swore it was white. He's driving his car, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I do see a guard inside. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. 830 Roger, use caution. Eddie, I had a feeling you'd be calling. Mm-hmm. Evening, officer. What can I do for you? Leave your attendant! They asked me that goddamn computer sent you out on another wild goose chase. They've been chasing bugs in this system ever since they installed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep, I heard that. Ah, here we go. I mix like, damn it. I just gotta do my job. Damn. Oh, it goes Heinrich. <laughs> Some of the shots, though. You know, guy just, do you see the gun with the guy holding the gun? Done. No more table. Where are you going, pal? Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. Next time you're standing over somebody, don't tell them to kill you. <laughs> Which won't be a next time, but you know. No problem at all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Not that you'll live that long. Just saying. Time to make it rain. Or snow, in this case. <laughs> hey, Lincoln 30 to dispatch. Hey, no, 30, go ahead. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at Nakatomi Plaza. Every no, it's not. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Careful what you wish for, yeah? <laughs> He's literally dropping bodies. <laughs> literally dropping bodies. I love it. Welcome to the party, pal! <laughs> Turn up the, heat in the heat's turning up, all right. No, goddammit, no! <laughs> yeah. Definitely needs some kind of help. Finally. It finally got here, huh? I just thought I'd love to hear that sound. <laughs> yeah, especially with your hobby. Let them fumble about outside and stay calm. This is simply the beginning. I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until further... Oh, I'm sorry, Hans. I didn't get that message. The wax Tony and Marco and his friend here, I figured you and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so... <laughs> you are most troublesome. For a security guard? Sorry, Hans, wrong guess. <laughs> yeah. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Unless you want to open the front door for me. I'm afraid not. You have me at a loss. You know my name, but who are you? Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne, Rambo, Marshall Dillon. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. 
really like those sequin shirts. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki motherfucker. Second best line in the movie. Okay, uh, it's debatable, you know, obviously, but that's what I think. Then, all right, look, Sam, I tell you what. You don't want to give me a truck? I'll go and I'll steal a truck. Hey, give us a break, Thornburg. Eat it, Harvey. <laughs> Good evening. This is Harvey Johnson. <laughs> and I'm Gail Wall. I love I love this little sort of like rivalry thing. Just in the side story sort of thing. He wasn't lying about Marco. He's down on the street. And the other man was Heinrich. And his bag is missing. Uh -oh. He had to detonate. Yes, he did. Very slick. Well, now how do you know that? I've seen enough phony IDs in my time. I recognize that the ones they got must have cost a fortune. I hear you, partner. LA's finest are on it. So light him if you got him. Where are you, partner? <laughs> yeah. Anything else you think we need to know to be I'll shy, okay? In the meantime, I want you to find a safe place to hold up and let us do our job. Understand? They're all yours. Mm-hmm. But not really. <laughs> not really. Oh. Oh, there he is. Here, what do these pricks want? Well, if you mean the terrorists, sir, we don't exactly know. We haven't heard a peep from them. Of course, it takes one to know them. He's killed one terrorist for sure, and he claims he's capped off two others. He claims? Powell, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? Or some <laughs> nutcase in there? I don't think so, sir. In fact, I think he's a cop. Yeah. Like being able to spot a phony ID. Jesus Christ, Powell! He could be a fucking bartender for all we know. <laughs> Third best line in the movie, as far as I'm concerned. I have a request. What idiot put you in charge? You did. Eh, just called yourself an idiot. Now everybody's looking to me. Personally, I pass on the job. I don't enjoy being this close to you. Oof. No, but I'll have a surfer brought out to you. Good enough? Good enough. And unless you like it messy, I'd start bringing us in groups to the bathroom. Yeah. Mr. Takagi chose his people well, Mrs. Gennaro, Miss Gennaro. Yeah, to you it's Miss Gennaro. Get. <laughs> Group of men seize control of the Nakatomi building, sealing off all entrances <laughs> and exits. Yeah. All telephones. Like, what? Hold on. I didn't notice anything. Official sources, the perpetrators of this strange building. Unit 5, hold your position in the main entrance. Man. Oh. All we know is that somebody shot your car up. It's probably the same silly son of a bitch you've been talking to on that radio. <laughs> <It is. laughs> well, what about the body that fell out the window? Well, who knows? It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. We're ready for you. Yikes. That's an idiot, though. Jesus Christ, you're coming in. That's it, isn't it? Christ, pal, I told you what kind of people you're dealing with here. All right, let's load them up. Blue go. Hey, mm. okay, here we go. Reconnoiter. Time to move in. Here we go. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Okay, come on, anyway, I'm I'm actually talking quite loud because the movie's loud in my head because of the cut that down a little bit. Okay. Oh. Hey, what? That guy that like, gets a lot of flack for that, yeah? You try not reacting when you get when you get stung by a thorn, yeah? Yeah, I, I'm with him. It's every right to go, ow. That's what you get for walking through a rose bush. Yeah, go on, get that chocolate bar. Go. There it is, crunch bar. I've actually tried a crunch bar once. They're not easy to get here in the UK, but uh, I did get one once. Try it. It was alright. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It's all your imagination. Okay, we're all set. No, you're not. Kick ass. Yes, the bad guys will. <laughs> Definitely kick ass. They're shooting at them. They're shooting at the lights. Yeah, they're shooting at the lights. Come on. They're going after the lights. Oh, well, you picked up on that, huh? <laughs> you just called it the car? Shadowmobile. No? 
Yeah, sure, okay. Whatever you say. Yikes. Yeah, they can prepare prepared. Oof. Here we go. Wait, did they shoot it through the glass? That's crazy. Aren't you motherfucker? You made your point. Let him pull back. Thank you, Mr. Cowboy. I'll take it under advisement. Hit it again. Yeah, hit it again. Come on. One of the best and dumbest parts of the movie. <laughs> he almost blows himself up. This is gonna hurt. Don't have many to use. Fuck it. Sure, only one would be enough, wouldn't it? I mean, one detonator for one brick. Oh, needs to sit off a spark, maybe? I, I don't know. This under advisement jerkweed. I'm not sure that would help, though, right? I, I don't know. Whoa! Luckily, the building didn't fall down. Yeah, you didn't think that went through. They're using artillery on us! You idiot. It's not the police, it's him. Yeah, him. Shit. <laughs> Take over of the Nakatomi building. Sources say the terrorist leader Hans may be this man, Hans Gruber, a member of the. Hey. Stating that Gruber had been expelled from that organization. Oh. Al, Al, do you copy? Yep. Are you all right? No, just a thief. There you go. Is the building on fire? No, but it's gonna need a paint job and a shitload of screen doors. <laughs> Now you listen to me, mister. I don't oh, know who the hell you, think you are or what you're doing, but you just destroyed a building. Yeah, you also killed two of the robbers. Jack shit. You listen to me, you little asshole. <laughs> I'm a asshole? I'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national. Oh! Yeah, Dwayne. <laughs> yeah, he needed to hear that. You hang in there. Yeah, thanks, partner. Ah, <laughs> uh, some powder courage. What are you going to do? Hey, babe, I negotiate million dollar deals for breakfast. I think I can handle this Euro trash. Yeah, I don't think so. Hope I'm not interrupting. What does he want? <laughs> it's not what I want, it's what I can give you. A headache. <laughs> At least that's what he's gonna get. Camel jockeys, maybe it's the Hebes, Northern Island. It's none of my business. I figure you're here to negotiate, am I right? Ah, uh, the Eddies. You use a gun, I use a fountain pen. What's the difference? Uh, guns kill people? <laughs> grab us for some green mail, but... Well, people kill people, but you know what I mean. The guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> I can give him to you. Ah, uh, this guy is such a douche. Oh, God. Uh... Roy, Roy, are you all right? He's trying to fire then a thousand-year-old Twinkie. What did they put in these cigs anyway? Sugar and rich flour. Partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, polysorbate 60, and yellow dye number five. <laughs> sure hope I can see him swinging on a jungle gym with Al Jr. someday. Touching, cowboy, touching. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Oh, here we go. I have someone who wants to talk to you. A very special friend who was with you at the party tonight. Uh, he takes us to his wife. Ellis? Yeah. Now listen, John. Give me a few minutes to try to talk some sense into you. Oh, this guy. Ellis, what have you told him? I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. This guy's an idiot. Seriously. Yeah. They asked him what he wanted, and he said he wanted Coke, so they bought him a Coca-Cola. <laughs> they want you to tell them what the dead name is. Long Coke. They know people are listening. They want the He wanted the part of fun, yeah? A little, huh? The police are here now. It's their problem. Now tell these guys where the detonators are so no one else gets hurt. You know, I'm putting my life on the line for you, pal. You really are. Life, you're not part of this equation. It's time you realize that. Hey, what am I, a method actor, Hans? <laughs> they put away the gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. John. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that Coke. 
Yikes. Where are they, or shall I shoot another one? Sooner or later, I might get to someone you do care about. Go fuck yourself, Hans. Yeah, that's right, you tell him. Just let the guy die, man. He just gave him up. What the he could do? I mean, can't that's you read between the lines? It's on the right channel? Yes, no, sir. he can't. He everything he could to save him. If he gave himself up, they'd both be dead right uh, now. No. That's right, yeah. Now you're gonna stand there and tell me that he's gonna give a damn about what you do to him if he makes it out of there alive? Why don't you yeah. wake up and smell what you shoveling? Oof. Attention, police. This is Sergeant Al Powell. This is uh, Deputy Chief Dwayne Robinson. Who is this? This is Hans Gruber. Hey, just confirmed it. Just confirmed who he is. Just buying time at this point. The following point. people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new... Hey, that's where I am. I'm in Northern Ireland. When these revolutionary brothers and sisters are free, okay. the hostages in this building will be taken to the roof... And blown up. <laughs> instructions. You have two hours to comply. Wait a minute, uh, Mr. Gruber. I, this is crazy. I, 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 I don't have the... You're gonna take 30 people on a helicopter? Come on. And you better be right, because it looks like this last one's gonna take a miracle. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles. So... I love how Theo's on a different channel. If he's trying to keep him a secret. Hey, pal, you out there? I'm here, John. I'm here. You gotta believe me, there's nothing I could do. He believes you. Well, you drove that car, I figured you for the street, Al. In my youth. In my youth. <laughs> if he can reverse really well. Hostages should be going through the early stages of the Helsinki Syndrome. As in Helsinki, Sweden. <laughs> The FBI is here now? Yes, sir, right over there. Hold this. Want a breath, man? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. Oh. Just a couple of Johnsons. Yep, checking his wires. He has got his wires crossed. <laughs> Why wouldn't they put the gun in his belt? Or in his waistband behind him or something? <laughs> You're one of them. No, 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 don't kill me, please. No, please. Don't kill me, don't kill me, please. Me. Well, yeah, I know that the director insisted on this because he found out that Alan Rickman could do an American accent and he wanted to do this scene. After this, uh, this is after all the other scenes were shot. Uh, well, I was just trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help. You know. No. Come well, on, you want to stay alive? You stay with me. Another good line. Well, the best. Not quite the line in Terminator 2, but you know, I'm sure any Terminator. What I'm thinking of. Inside, who is he? Well, he might be a cop. I don't know. We're checking on that. One of yours. No, no way. Yeah, he's far too good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's his favorite brand. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's better being caught with your pants down, huh? <laughs> I'm John McClane. You're, uh... Clay. Bill Clay. <laughs> he was prepared. Now to use a handgun, Bill? I spent a weekend at a combat ranch. You know that game with the guns that shoot red paint? Time for the real thing, Bill. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite scenes right here. You know, it makes you believe he's messing up. Oh, that's a good sign. Put down the gun and give me my detonator. Well, well, well. Hans. Put it down. He already knew it was Hans. He already knew. No bullets. You think I'm fucking stupid, Hans? <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Jesus. Ah, they go to the knees. Yeah, he's dead, dead. Jesus. I've actually got a sore knee right now, so that really hit home for me. Ooh. Shoot the glass. Hmm? Oh. 
Jesus. I hate to get the bill for all the glass I'm gonna have to replace. <laughs> Should have wrapped your feet with uh, cloth or something. You know what I mean? That vest, for instance. Should have tore it up and wrapped their feet in that. Just McLean's name, badge number, employment record, vital statistics, and his family's home address. Right here in LA. Wow, she got everything. There goes the bar. He's still alive. <laughs> what? Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> You should know. Says, uh, if you ask for miracles, dear, I give you the FBI. Yeah, this is the plan. You can't do it from here. Yeah, you could. It, it can't be done from here. I could just, I got the rape. We can't do it from down here, I'm telling you. <laughs> what about the United States fucking government? Hey, lose the grid or you lose your job. Wow. Yep, here we go. Uh, say, listen, uh, would it be possible for you to turn off uh, Grid 212? Are you crazy? <laughs> no. Emergency lighting activated. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Thank you for the, uh, for the warning. Beautiful sight. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Indeed. Bastards are probably pissing in their pants right now. <laughs> no, they're not. And the way they go. Yes. This is Agent Johnson. No, the other one. <laughs> yep, just another couple of Johnsons. <laughs> Let me figure out what hit them. They'll be in a body bag. I spent a month sifting through the rubble, and by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach. Everybody's got their plans, except for John McLean. He's just trying to figure out how to stand. The when things started to pan out for her, I should have been more supportive. Yeah, he's just saying all the things he should have said before. She never heard me say I'm sorry. Thanks. I want you to tell her that, Alan. Yeah, it's that pride. One minute. That's all I'm asking. Ah, this guy again. Come on. You let me in right now, or I call the INS. What a dick. Taking advantage of kids? Come on. <laughs> pal, pal, listen to me. It's a double cross. The whole roof of the building fired. <laughs> John. You should have just pulled the trigger. Did you get that? Nah, some about a double cross. Tell me about it. Different double cross. On the other side. <laughs> oh, just laying into him. Time to gather your flock, Miss Gennaro. You know, your mom and dad are very important. Very brave people. So is there something you'd like to see? Oh no. Oh. Ah. Uh. On our feet, everyone, to the roof. Lock them up there and come right back. Oh. Almost. <laughs> she almost got away. It's gone. Ah. God. You just toying with him at this point, yeah? yeah. You want to save her. Oh! Squeal! Peace! I broke his fucking neck! Yeah, that's right, you tell. <laughs> Figure we take out the terrorists, lose 20, 25% of the hostages. Tops! I can live with that! Yeah, Merry Christmas. Hey, actually, they are expecting gunships. <laughs> Policeman's wife might come in handy. McLean, I have some news for you. McLean. He's a little busy right now. Ah! Nice. Get him. That's it. 
Yeah. After all your posture and all your little speeches, you're nothing but a common thief. I am an exceptional thief, Mrs. McLean. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, ooh. <laughs> what do you say I'm gonna cook you and I'm gonna eat you? I never noticed that before. First he has to hang you. Get all those juices. Get to the right place, yeah? The whole fucking roof is fired the blow! Get down! Fuck Justin! They made us, Bureau. You got a terrorist shooting the left! Now that sucker! <laughs> Yep, there's Carl still hanging there. Oh, oh John, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, trying to be a hero. That's why. Come back down. Blow the roof. The car's up there. Blow the roof. Oh. Oh. Literally, you could see that from miles away. That's crazy. Oh. Yep. Uh oh. Ah, uh, you better hurry up. Untie that stupid thing. There it goes. Oh, that was close. Well, there go the Johnsons. Oof. Yeah, they're really gone now. Yikes. <laughs> Gonna need some more FBI guys, I guess. Yeah, nah, the movie's nearly over. It'd just be a waste of time. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that explosion came down on the left. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm here. I know I'm late. Oh, this is Argyle's moment to shine. Here we go. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's not good. That is. Mm hmm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think Argyle's gonna need a new job. Nice. Like, really? That wasn't even that much hard of a punch. And it knocked him out. No, it's John. Jesus doesn't look anything like that. So that's what this is all about? Fucking yep. robbery? Yeah. Why'd you have to nuke the whole building, Hans? Because he's a prick. Oh, yeah. What was it you said to me before? yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah, laugh it up. Go ahead. Laugh it up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, huh? <laughs> oh! Happy trails, Hans. Yep. That's it. Oh, they can hear that. Get rid of that stupid watch. Probably fake anyway. Oh, and away he goes. Bye bye. <laughs> I happen to know the look on his face is real. Because they really did drop him. <laughs> they weren't supposed to, but we did it anyway. Oh, the sound of him hitting the ground. Woo. I think that building's going to be shut down for a while. Just a little while. He already missed it.
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think they both need a hug right now. Hug, you know. Holly McClain. Yeah. All right. Got yourself a good man. He appreciates some love. <laughs> Interfering with police business. Oh, didn't finish him off. Yeah. See? That's how you do it. I'll have your back. Mm-hmm. Whoa. This was with me. Getting a little too trigger happy. <laughs> Mr. McLean, Mr. McLean, now that it's all over after this incredible ordeal, what are your feelings? <laughs> Load of her feelings. This is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> and since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay, that is the end of the movie. Great movie. Love it. One of my favorites. Yeah, obviously I've seen all of them in the franchise. I mean, how could I not? Yeah? But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this uh, rewatch, you know. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. And you've probably seen it before too, so that's okay. I mean, obviously I know a little bit more about this movie, you know. Because, you know, I've been watching it for years. I looked it up, you know, I looked up a lot of stuff. They're saying at the end when they dropped Alan Rickman off the side of the building. They told him they'd only they'd give him a count of three or something like that there, or a count of five or something. And they went on two, which is why he looked so shocked when he was dropping because, you know, which is a good way to do it. But he wasn't too happy about it, though. <laughs> um, I also know that this was his first movie. I think he only, he went into acting in his 40s or something like that, right? And I think until this movie, he'd only done stage or something. So this is his first time in front of the camera, professionally, I think, you know. I could be wrong about that. But yeah. Uh, I enjoyed this so much. I kind of needed it, you know. It's you love watching movies that remind you of, you know, Christmas's past and better times past and all this. You know, it's nice to do, you know. But maybe you feel the same way. Let me know in the comments section. There's not much more I can say about this movie. I mean, I've already seen it so many times. There's some great shots in it, like them coming out of the lift. You know, start of it, and then next time you see them coming out of the lift. They've got guns this time, you know, and it's they're both great shots, those two. So many others. Uh, I mean, I, I will maybe do the second one, the third one, and all that. Maybe do them all. Get, you know, if that's what you guys want. Let me know in the comment section again. You guys have to voice, you know what I mean, what you want, what you don't want. Even if you just pass them through, if you'd like to see a reaction to such and such. But don't be afraid to say, you know. Go ahead and request reactions. Even if you're just passing through, even if you're just watching one reaction or something like that, I'll do it, you know, at some point, I'm sure. Maybe it's a movie I've already got on my list. I do have a list of rewatches and stuff, you know. Uh, some movies I've seen maybe only a few years ago. Some of me, some maybe like 20 years or 30 years ago or something like that, yeah. It just depends. It doesn't really matter when, last time I saw them, because it's a rewatch, you know. You enjoy watching the movies, so, as well. At some point I'm going to have to do Weekend at Bernie's. I've already got it, you know, sort of on my mind, on my list, you know, so. And I just want to remind you that I do have a second channel called Royal Spartan 125 Reacts. And but do another video for it now. Or another video. Christmassy comedy one. There's over 700 videos on there at the moment. You might want to check it out if you like reactions. You never know. There's a lot of reactions to the boys and things like that there. If you like that sort of thing on YouTube. And, uh... Not much more I can say really other than until next time, I am out of here.